Hello everyone, I am Nehal from WS Cube Tech and in this video we are going to just explore the data frame uh, a bit more. So in the last video as you can see over here that uh, we had stopped this thing in the last video alright. So we had uh, uh, just understood this all things over here and now in this today's video we are going to see uh, what more you can just do with this data frame. So I am just going to remove this thing alright. So and what I am just going to do is. Uh, as you can see over here that I have uh, imported this uh, two libraries that is uh, numpy and pandas all right. I have created a data by using the array okay. So I have this array over here which is of five rows and four columns uh, and I have created a data frame uh, by passing this array uh, as its data over here and I have just labeled its uh, index over here okay. So these are the indexes for the uh, rows and these are nothing but our columns over here. And now I'm just going to run uh, this. So you are seeing that this was our data frame, all right. So this is our data frame over here. Now we are going to see over here that what if you just want to grab a particular element over here, okay. So say for example, you want to grab the zero over here. So what you can do simply do is uh, uh, I will just uh, uh, give a space over here and uh, inside this I will just say uh, df and uh, we have seen this thing, but uh, just uh, so that we get a link over here. So I'm just repeating this thing. So I'm we are uh, in order to just uh, grab this thing. What we are going to do is uh, I'm just going to say log, and inside this uh, square brackets, I'm just going to pass the uh, the index. Okay, so this is R A over here, and we even have this uh, W. Okay, so that is my column. So this is how uh, you need to pass that is the row and column. And if I just simply put this inside my print statement over here, and you can see that I will get that zero uh, value. Okay. So this is my entire data frame which got printed by this uh, line and then I got uh, gave a space over here so that is the space so that it doesn't uh, mix up and next what I did uh, in order to just grab this particular element inside my data frame I made use of uh, we need to write in this way okay so df.log and inside the square bracket you need to pass the uh, index that is nothing but your row and this is the column all right. Uh, similarly, I will take uh, some, some more examples over here. So say for example, you want to grab this 10 over here. So what you are going to do that it is in C and it is the column is Y. Okay, so it's simply write here C and the column is Y and this will just give us that 10 over here. All right, like that. Okay, similarly, if I just want to grab this 17 over here. So this is at E and this is X. So I'm just going to say the index is E and uh, uh, the column name is X over here. All right, so this will just give me 17 over here, okay. So this was about just uh, grabbing a single element from your data frame. What if you want to grab a subset, okay. So say for example, I want to grab this 14, 15, 18, 19. So for that purpose, what you need to do is, I will just clear this thing. And for that, what you need to do is, you are going to write df log, all right. And uh, we have the square bracket. So you are going to pass it uh, inside this uh, list, okay. So just observe. So this particular this list is for the rows and uh, separated by this comma and this particular list is for the columns all right. So say for example uh, as I said over here that I want to grab this 14, 15, 18, 19. So uh, what is the index? So it is at DE all right. So I am just going to say D and E uh, inside this quotation mark all right. And so it, it, it will just get selected over here and I just want this 14 and 15. So that for that purpose, I need to pass the column name. So this is similarly like what we did for the, in the case of NumPy, all right. So I'm just going to say this Y and Z, all right. So Y and Z, but just be uh, conscious that we are going to uh, give that. So this particular uh, list is for the columns, all right. Uh, sorry, this particular uh, list is for the rows and this particular list is for the columns and now if I just simply uh, put this inside my print statement if I just say this so I'm just going to get this 14 18 15 19 so I got that 14 18 15 19 okay so this is how you just grab a subset from your data frame so we'll take one more example and then we will move towards the next part so say for example I want to grab this 9 10 13 14 so likewise only so in what rows it is so it is in C and D so just type here C and D Okay, and this 9, 10, 13, 14 is in x, y. All right, so just x and y. So this will just give me 9, 10, 13, 14. So it has given 9, 10, 13, 14. Okay, so this is how you just grab the subset from your data frame. All right, 
so the next thing over here is now now we want to apply some conditional okay so we are going to see that how you can just apply this uh, uh, how you can just do the condition selection with your data frame all right so what i will simply do is i will just remove this line okay because i want to show you guys like how you can just uh, do the conditions uh, condition selection with your data frame over here so what i'm simply going to do over here is now uh, i'm just going to say that df okay uh, uh, should be greater than 5 okay so basically what this particular do uh, thing will do is if i just say that print over here so now i will get the result of a boolean value okay and wherever the condition is uh, false so it will just give me false and uh, wherever the condition is true it will give me true okay so i'm going to get the data frame of the boolean result so i'm just going to show you by uh, in order to just show you what i mean so you can see over here all right so what i've just uh, this is our original data frame right so this is our original data frame and i have given the condition that uh, the data frame should be greater than 5 okay so in this case you can see that 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so up till this 5 so this is false is for this particular 5 so the condition is false all right and uh, so it has given me the boolean results of false in this case and for the rest of this values you can see over here it has given me as true over here all right so this is nothing but i'm just going to get the uh, boolean results of true or false values when i just apply the condition uh, statement with my data frame over here okay uh, and what if I just don't want this boolean result anymore okay I just want a data frame and inside this data frame I just want that uh, wherever the condition is false you don't return me those values okay and just return me all the remaining values over here so you can just do that thing by just uh, write that now what I can simply do is I can just put this inside a variable okay so say for example I just write that this is my boolean and data frame right so this is the my boolean data frame because i am getting the result in the form of boolean values over here now what i can simply do is if i just want that thing which i am saying over to you guys like uh, i just want this uh, 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 the entire data frame but only these values where uh, the condition is false i don't want that values but the rest of the uh, values where the condition is true i want those things so i can simply do this thing okay so i am just going to say df and inside this i will just pass this boolean df all right and what I will do, I will just simply say, uh, put this inside my print statement. So this particular thing, what it will do is, you can see that now I am not getting that uh, boolean uh, data frame over here. What I am just getting is, like whenever the condition is false, so I am not getting the values. Okay, so it just simply says that any n. Okay, uh, it is not giving you any values. And for the rest of the uh, 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 the conditions, uh, as you can see, as a condition is data frame should be greater than five. So you can see that for 6 it has given for 7 and for the rest of the conditions where the values are true. So it has given you that values okay. Now it is not giving you true or false over here. And you can just see that it has converted into your floating point values. This is, this is basically done so that you don't lose your information okay. So this is done over here okay. What more to this you can just do is now uh, this you have done in the two steps right okay. You can do this thing in the one step itself okay. So what you can simply do is you can just say inside your data frame and inside uh, your uh, uh, the square brackets you just pass the condition over here okay and you simply uh, put this inside the print statement okay and now I will just uh, comment this thing because this thing we had done in the two steps okay so why to just waste these lines over here so I can just uh, do this thing in a single step over here and if I just run this thing so you are seeing that I got that exactly the same result which I was getting from the uh, two steps over here okay. So this might just look a bit awkward over here at the first step but if you just uh, do it uh, uh, a lot of practice over here so you will be just uh, habitual with this thing okay. So this thing is uh, you might think it's uh, somewhat uh, tricky at first but uh, this is how you can just do it in a single step and if you are just not uh, comfortable with this particular line so you can just break these things into a single uh, into your two steps okay so first what you simply do is you just uh, apply the condition okay so this particular thing it will just give you the boolean result of true and false you just put this inside your variable name okay and then what you do that inside your df you just pass this your boolean uh, data in a, inside your square brackets okay and this will just give you this uh, uh, data frame where uh, the, where the condition is 
pause it will not give you the values over here and for the rest of the values you can see that where the condition is true it will just give you these this values over here okay and this is how you can just do it in a single step over here so now you can see over here that uh, instead of now you are, you are passing as a data frame you can just pass the uh, row index or the column index all right so you can just apply this conditional se uh, selection on a particular row or a particular column okay so we'll just check that out so i will just remove this thing and what i will simply do that i have to apply the uh, condition selection on a particular row so say for example i want to uh, perform the that uh, condition selection on uh, a particular column name that is w okay so what i am simply going to do is i will so what i am simply going to say is df and inside the square brackets i will just say in, inside the quotation mark w okay and i will just uh, tell that wherever this condition gets satisfied that this particular thing that uh, it should be greater than 5 so wherever this condition will uh, get satisfied uh, i want the result so now you know that this particular thing will give you a boolean result right and this will just give you a series okay so you can see over there that this is your entire data frame and instead of just applying the condition selection on the entire data frame i have applied it on a particular column okay so this on the w all right and the condition says that it should be greater than 5 okay so wherever the condition is not greater than 5 so at 0 and 4 the condition is not getting satisfied so at that particular point it has written you as the boolean result as false whereas in the remaining state that is 8 12 and 16 just given you as true over here so this is nothing but this is the series okay and uh, we have applied the condition selection on a particular uh, uh, column okay so similarly if you just don't want this uh, particular uh, result in uh, boolean values you want the entire uh, the date uh, the data frame and you just want that where the condition is false it should not return anything whereas it should return the entire uh, this value so what you, you can simply do over here is uh, the similarly like we did it before so i'm just going to say df and i will just put this inside the square brackets all right and now what the result i'm going to get is no more a uh, boolean value and it will just return me the column uh, the index uh, of c d and e because you can you can see that over here when i just say that i just want the entire data frame so and i'm saying that uh, you apply the condition selection on this particular w so you can see over here that in case of w this 0 4 is not getting satisfied okay so similarly it will just remove this entire this row and it will just give you the result over here uh, which the condition is satisfied over here so it will just simply return you c d and e in this case okay we are going to check some more examples over here so say for example uh, i want to apply the uh, condition uh, selection on say z all right and i just want to say that in the z section uh, i just want the results where uh, the values are greater than 10 okay so similarly what i will do is i will just say z and i will just make this condition as 10 so in this case you uh, what i will i will just tell you first before just running uh, the thing so what result we are going to get is now i said that it should be greater than 10 okay so i'm just going to take uh, again get this c d and e in this case okay so if i just run over here so it will just give you that result so it will just give you c d and e we'll check some more examples over here so say for example uh, i want to apply the condition selection on say for example uh, x okay so in x what i want to do is uh, uh, so i will just say that where, wherever the x is uh, less than uh, i will just make the use of the or less than and i will just say that less than 5 all right so you can see over here now in this particular column so it is less than 5 so only this particular this con this row will be written that is this a index okay and if i just run over here so you are saying that this particular a is written so i hope that you have uh, clear with this thing so the next thing that i want to show you guys over here is that uh, uh, now uh, i will just remove this thing okay and if i just uh, uh, show you guys my data frame over here so you can see that this is my data frame okay so uh, this uh, pandas even provide uh, you with the provision like you can even just uh, change this uh, index over here so this is your labeled index right that a b c d e so what if you want to just re uh, uh, replace this with your uh, the original that is numeric index so we have that provision over here so what i will simply do is uh, uh, i will remove this thing and we uh, uh, we have one method that is uh, uh, reset index okay 
so this particular method over here which is under your uh, pandas library okay so this particular index what is does that it will just uh, uh, reset your index that is that is this labeled index to your original index that is the numeric index so if i just print it over here over here so if i just print this thing so you are, you are not going to see this a b c d anymore it, you will just see 1 2 3 4 okay and here we go so it has given uh, this as a column okay so this was your original index that is a b c this was your labeled index whereas now it has reset your index to your original that is 0 1 2 3 4 and now you can use this things to just uh, grab the elements over here all right and uh, if i just uh, print my uh, data frame over here okay so you will observe that it has not updated our data frame in this uh, point so here you can see this uh, these are nothing but these are the labeled index right these are not more uh, numeric index over here so we have seen this thing over here so for that purpose what you need to do is over here you need to use in place okay and by default it is set to false okay this is just basically so that uh, you just don't lose your information and all now i'm not going to just print this thing because this will just return me as null okay and if i just now print that my data frame over here so you will see this a b c d will be replaced by 0 1 2 3 4 okay and here we go so it has replaced that uh, our or the index that we have given to our original index that is 0 1 2 3 4 so this is how you can just uh, reset your index over here so as for now we'll just stop it over here okay so in this particular video what we studied is all about how you can just grab a single element from your data frame we even saw that how you can just grab uh, the subset from your uh, data frame we even may, uh, uh, saw that uh, how you can just uh, use the conditional selection uh, conditional selection over your entire data frame and also on a particular column okay and we even saw that how you can just reset the index in this case okay so uh, in the next video we are going to talk about more in depth about the data frames and all and we are going to see the topic about the how you can just tackle with the missing data in data frame so see you over there